हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जगबीर सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्टैट एडिटर वी विल गो एंड डू सर्टेन थिंग्स इन स्टैट एडिटर एंड वी विल मैनिपुलेट अवर मॉडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैट एडिटर सो टू डू दैट लेट्स जस्ट क्रिएट वन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट नाउ रिमेंबर दैट आई एम चूजिंग स्पेस हेयर एंड आई विल शो यू वाई आई एम सेंग दिस एंड जस्ट गो माई यूनिट्स आर मीटर एंड किलो न्यूटन एंड आई एम जस्ट गिविंग ए नेम एज editor start editor and next and now i am on add b so now there are different methods to make a model in stat pro first is uh, you know that you can quickly make uh, with the help of add beams or add nodes or add plates you can create your model the second thing is that you can give information here the joint uh, the nodes and the beams you can give for uh, for example if i want a node at x 0 y 1 and z 0 then it will create one node for me this is my node so the the second method is that i can directly pick now you can see i go to at x 1 and y 1 and z 0 uh, so if i control z it and i start my doing this the same thing from this point just like that now i have some information of my node uh, members and some information about my nodes so if i have to access my stat editor then there are two methods to access my stat editor either i can go on this icon here or i can quickly go to edit menu and edit input command file the same icon here so when i click on it it will ask me to save my structure yes and now it comes like this so now what is stat editor a stat editor is a command prompt kind of thing like whatever information we want to give to software we can either go by uh, give by uh, clicking with the help of mouse on the grid or either we can give the information or input the information in form of a command line so when i open it you will see it starts with stat space that means when i open my stat then i choose space this thing that's why i told you remember what i am choosing after that start job information so the in job information is the date on 18th march 2016 i have started this job and and job information after that this thing input width 79 now what this input width 79 means that means in one line i can only give a input up to width of 79 characters so when i give like after 79 you will see it changes its color that means you are entitled only to give input values up to 79 characters so after that what are the units i have chosen meter and kilo newton now this thing is important joint coordinates now you will see 1 0 0 after that 2 0 6 0 what this information is so when i go to my stat and i will see let me just close this and you will see my first node is been created at 0 0 that's why when i go to my stat it is saying first node this first digit represents the node number this is node number 2 and the coordinates of node number are 0 6 0 let's just cross check it coordinate of second node is 0 6 0 so to cross check you can see Not zero six zero. Now, when I again go to stat editor, then you will see member incidences. That means this is member number one. Either it's a beam or it's a column. Member number two, member number three. Now, 
when member number one was created when i joined node number one to node number two to cross check it you can go member one from node one to node two so just go on member one from node one to node two so to go for second one you go here member number two was created when i joined node number two to three okay so that's that's how it works so when i do some changes here it will automatically reflect that is how it is supposed to be so just cross check it so what i am doing uh, there are a few things you can do here like you can inactivate or deactivate uh, or deactivate from here so for example i do not want my these beams and columns to be there on my screen so what i have to do just let me select these informations and there are two buttons here the blue one and green one blue one is to activate anything or the green one is just to deactivate anything so i want to deactivate all these members so what i have to do i have to first select them and then i have to go to this button the first button when i hit this one then you will see the colors of these member informations have been changed to green but now here these are blue that means these are active this button represents blue color because i haven't selected if i select anything you can see their colors now they are active so as these uh, digits are in blue color that means these are active so when i just save it and when i close it and i go back to my stat then you will see your members have been disappeared because the reason is i have deactivated them using my stat pro so let's do one thing again go to my stat editor and just select them again and activate them again and save it and again come to your stat pro now your members are right back here so now just create one model with the help of my stat editor how to do that so just try this one also so for that let me just close this file and take a new file and this time i am not giving any input with the help of my mouse i directly want to go with stat editor though uh, the situation is like that i want to create nodes at 00, zero and at 5 and the same way on 10 and this way so let's just start randomly go to stat editor after that what i am going to do i'm going to give some input here so now do one thing you have you see i do not have joint coordinates member member coordinates and neither i have given a unit so let's just uh, give our units as like u and i sorry i have to go here i have the unit will come after input width u and now you will see it's black but the information should be with red so u and i e s so the moment you finish the unit words it's red that means it's accepted the units m e t e r meter and kilonewton will be k n then enter now i have to tell software what information i am giving for example i am giving information about my joints or my nodes so let's give joint coordinates joint coordinates enter now my first joint will be created now you will see it's blue that means it's taking it first uh, code node will be created at zero 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 space zero space zero that means x zero y zero and z zero when i hit save 
you will see I have one node at 0 0 0 now I want to give a second node at my this location that means x 10 okay so I again go to stat editor now for the second one just give space after that space and give second at x 10 0 0 and when you save it you will find you can have a node so that's how you manipulate your input by using my command line using stat editor and you can manipulate your model so that's how you are going to play with it so that's all friends for stat editor and uh, this is Jagbe Singh signing off uh, if you like the video you can hit like button and you subscribe the channel for upcoming more videos if you want a particular video on particular topic on any software kindly uh, drop down your information your requirement into comment section i will see it and i will do it definitely thank you so much jay india jay bharat